Hello, hello, Erin Sum here with Erin Sum Confidence Coaching and ErinSum.com. And I am going to talk to Kim McLaughlin today. So we're going to see if Kim is watching yet. Got to wait till she starts watching. And here we go. All right. Always. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Oh hey, we got the totally you, you got the memo. <laughs> I did. I didn't realize it. Oh my gosh. Seriously. How are you okay. Today? <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad to be talking with you right now. Um, Me too. About videos. You, girl, you have been on the video charge lately. I'm. I look and I. I don't know if people notice. Like, no, actually, I think they do notice that you have been on videos a lot and you have been on fire. And what I find Thank so you. interesting is that. I want to watch. <laughs> and that's what I think what happens with videos. Like we want to watch, we want to see what's going on. And so, yeah, we want to get a scoop, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, so we, yeah, let's get to it. The, okay. What uh, your so, confidence challenge is coming up. It is coming up. First, tell us what you do a little bit. So we know a little bit more about you. I am Kim McLaughlin, and I help people when they're feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, and overloaded, and it shows up in overeating, and this is the time. It is October. I, it's, it's, the trying, um, it's the trifecta, October, yeah. November, <laughs> December, right? Um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. It's the trifecta of when people who have eating issues and issues with their weight, it shows up big time and I am here to help. I actually have a challenge. Um, I'll actually put it in the, the comments later. I have a peace with food, um, uh, what did I call it? Halloween challenge. And actually got to tell you, Erin, I don't know mm -hmm. if you know, but the reason why I thought of doing this October Halloween peace with food challenge is based specifically on your video challenge oh I don't know if you know that part I yeah totally I for anybody who doesn't know I well I'm from uh feedyoursoulunlimited.com and I um was in Aaron's video challenge what was it uh, weeks ago a month and now. I loved it. I loved the, ch I love being challenged. I got to tell you that. Um, and actually I, I think challenge is a misnomer because I don't think it's a challenge. I think it was, a, it was just a joining together where I felt more confident and I did more videos. And so from that, it made me realize how much I really enjoyed the idea of being in a group supporting each other coming up with some common goals and just doing it and doing it you know as well as we could um and so thank you to you for giving me the idea and um this whole idea of being challenged in a good way yeah yeah no and you did a great job you won too so i give prizes also i do the challenge too is to do a challenge every day that's the part of the challenge is to just is this to do is my the video challenge. every day yeah, <laughs> this is, I mean, this is what I want. I'm actually in my office, so I have the larger light above me, so I don't need this, but I won. I made, I made more video. I think me and another person made the most number of videos. Um, yeah, cause I tell you, if you, if you tell me if, 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 um, we're on kind of a, a competition, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So you and you and one other gal did six videos, um, in one week in five days. And so that was awesome. And so you won the, the light and um, somebody else won a prize as well. And it was super fun. And so the challenge isn't like about like being competitive with somebody else, but some people are more competitive. And Kim, you are somebody who's like, oh, you're, you're going to challenge me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> the challenge is really about <laughs> challenging yourself to do something that's out of your comfort zone. So some people did the challenge and were completely terrified to do video. They'd never done a video before and they jumped in and did it anyways. Some people like you, Kim, have done a ton of video before um, and are super comfortable in front of the camera, but you wanted to challenge yourself to do videos consistently throughout the week and to um, continue to do videos after the challenge. So <laughs> yeah, and actually I did more videos that week than I've ever done. And actually, um, 
when we were talking about your upcoming challenge and I said, I realized that I really need to do more videos and it's worth the money and the time for me to invest in myself and my business. So I'm in next week with the video challenge because even though I've done it before and even though I know how to do videos, what it does for me is it encourages me to do more. And since I have my peace with food Halloween challenge coming up, I need to do videos and I need to get out there and market it and let people know about it. And I thought, well, what a great way for me to do it since I'm really motivated by being with other people. So I'm all in and I love your statistics. You have a lot of statistics about how important video is. So remind me, like it's super statistically, it it's helps like, me. Let me pull on my um, Social video. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram helps you grow it gets 1200% more shares than text and, and images combined. So you can put a, an image or a text on, on Facebook and it's, and your videos are going to be shared 1200% more than a text and an image combined. Um, 500 million hours of video are watched every single day okay. between YouTube and Facebook. 500, 500 million? million per day. Crazy. <sighs> And 61% of people will buy after watching a branded video. So if you're making videos all the time and people are watching you and falling in love with you, 64% of people are going to make a purchase after watching your videos. So, and you can't just watch one or do one video. You know, you have to be consistent and persistent about it. And you have to have a plan and like a strategy. You can't just like talk about random stuff that means nothing, you know, or like show off your dog or something you know you have to have right I think, to yeah I think a lot of people do uh just videos of just things and, and that can be kind of fun for your friends but if you're yeah. doing it for your business that's interesting I'm gonna have to think about that and and I hope maybe we can talk about that next week when we do the video challenge about what I'd love to think about is what you just said about um coming up with a you you talked about like a strategy mm -hmm. like what's gonna be my strategy since I have this um this program I'm, I'm doing at the end of, of October, like right. I could put together a strategy next week in our confidence challenge so yeah. that I could right have more coming out because I, um, I want to be more consistent and also more targeted in what I do. So that's something for me to think about that. I, I think I want to do next week when I'm in the video challenge. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to know, you know, you have to know who you're talking to. So, you yeah. know, if you're just getting on and, and saying random things or doing random things on video, it's not going to get you more clients. You want to be t giving content and talking to your people. Um, you know, so for you, Kim, you want to be talking to people who get stressed and eat when they get stressed, yeah. right? And so how do you yeah. overcome that? You want to have some tips and some strategies on how to... Um, get over the eating emotionally, right? To get people to join your challenge. So every right. single one of you, like, um, I just saw Ruth popped on here. She's going to be in the challenge and she, she does a lot oh, of good. videos around, um, sharing her keto lifestyle because she sells products that go along with the keto lifestyle. So she'll do recipes and different things like that to show how easy it is and different recipes that she that she uses personally to help share, uh, sell her products. So, you know, she's got a so, strategy. In mind. Go so what's interesting that you say that hi, Ruth, I, I think you're there. Um, I bought from Ruth because of her videos. Oh yeah. See, I there you go. Making some, uh, shakes and I thought, Ooh, that looks really good. And I, I literally bought, I don't know if, I don't know if she knows this, hopefully she's listening, but I literally bought from her because of um, how yummy the recipe sounded. And I thought, well, that sounds kind of good. I'm going to buy it. So I bought some of Ruth's stuff specifically from her videos. So Ruth, I hope you're listening because it worked. Yay. <laughs> I hope she's listening too. I know she popped on. I'm not sure if she's still there, but um, yeah, that's awesome. Exactly. Pro the, the proof is in the pudding, right? Or in the shakes. <laughs> Yeah, I think the other thing, you know, Erin, is what I noticed last time is that when I was on the challenge with you is that a lot of people were nervous. And what I loved about what you did was, is you provided opportunities for people to do their video within our confidence 
what was the a confidence vi confident video group mm -hmm. um and so people could just start out just doing the videos to all of us and then we'd all say oh this is super good super good and then you would challenge them to then share it out to their larger group so it was right. really a nice way i think for people I, i'm more it's not that i'm not confident about doing videos i just don't always remember to do it and that's what the challenge helped me on but i noticed that there were people that didn't feel comfortable getting out there and so they would do it to our small group and then we would all encourage them to send it out to, to their larger world. And I think it right. was a nice way of a stepping stone of building confidence and practicing with other people, you know, while you're getting used to it and getting feedback on what worked. Um, generally, everybody did a great job. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's one great thing about this challenge, too, is that I'm not going to say you have to go out there and put your video on public, you know, <laughs> Do it live, right. publicly, um, immediately. I am going to give you a challenge eventually, and you don't have to do it, but it is going to be a challenge towards the end of the week to go public, um, live public. But you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it's going to, you know, being courageous and doing those things is going to help you. But you can totally start in the group and just share it with our small little group of people who are all in the same boat. They're all going to want to support you and, yeah. and help you with your videos too, and give you lots of love. And it's just a really warm, loving environment and if, of all the people are doing all the same thing. So they're all going to, yeah. they all want to support you. Um, so it's well, what really I liked great. was that thing. What, what I liked was that I got um, ideas from other people's videos too is that mm -hmm. I could watch and I could see um, what do I, you had one that you did that was part of the challenge that I really liked. And you said, uh, you know, give a video testimonial to somebody. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to go. So I just went on and I did a video testimonial. I gave it to the person. I shared it in our, another group. I shared it mm -hmm. so they could have it. And so it was a nice way to give, to give back to somebody that, gave to me actually this right here is a, like it's actually this is a testimonial video so we're doing right. <laughs> a facebook live that actually is a testimonial video for you but and it gets you in front of people but it gets me in front of people and mm -hmm. we get to share some good content too yeah yeah this is a great way to do it so you can do i know kim you did a, a just a by yourself testimonial as well and you talked about um our coach and talked about you know how she's helped you but you can do interviews too which helps helps be helps you be a little bit more relaxed because you're talking to someone it's like just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation it takes some of the pressure off and then that person can share how you've helped them and then they get to share what um you know about their business too so i'm supporting kim because she's talking about her challenge and what she does and she's supporting me by saying how great she thought that the challenge was so it's a win-win for both of us i get in front of her people she gets in front of mine and um, it makes it a little bit easier to make videos too so you can you can do either way one just by yourself or or supporting somebody else yeah i and also i want to say i, I kind of on i I knew we were going to do this video today. So this is for people who want to do it perfectly. I thought, what could I give for people for like a little takeaway today? And um, <laughs> one of the things I learned was that we don't have to go perfect. And I knew I was going to do a video with you. And I almost got, and I thought, like, oh, I'll put the hairspray and I'll do the makeup. I did not do a bit because I'm going to yoga in an hour and a half. And I thought, ah, I don't want to. So I'm in my clothes that I'm going to go work out in. I, I washed my hair, but I, I didn't put makeup on. And I think that to me, I just kind of wanted a role model that you don't have to look perfect. You don't have all the yeah. hair all done and the, the clothing. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to encourage people to just get out there and do it. There's a certain, there is a certain need for looking better when, you know, you want to have a more professional video, but when we're chit chatting like this, we could just get on at a moment's notice and go, let's go live right now. Right. Yeah. And that came out during the challenge last time too. You know, everyone was looking pretty and doing the hair and makeup. And then you got on and Katarina got on and a few other people said, you know what, I'm just going to show up in all my glory, you know, and just no hair, no makeup and just get on there without my mask on. Right. And just talk yeah. and be super transparent and, it was so beautiful because yeah. I always feel like I have to have my hair and makeup done. And there's so many times where I go, Oh, I could do a video now. Oh, but I haven't 
put down my hair and makeup, you know, and right. I just don't do it. And a lot of people are like that. And it's not just the appearance too. It's the, I don't know what to say. I, I need to script it out. And no, you don't need to do any of that. Just get on and share from your heart. If you have an idea or a thought or, um, you know, something that you want to share, get on and do it. You know, just do it. Actually, you, you reminded me that that video by Katarina Rando was stripped down raw and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I sat and I listened yeah. to that one. I was so motivated after hearing her talk. I forgot about that, but you were right. It was, um, it was really encouraging to, to hear her talk. Um, really, like you said, yeah. really stripped down. Yeah. Yeah. It was so tell, can you tell me what are the, what are the particulars of the challenge? It starts next week. Um, yeah, what are the particulars and how can people sign up? Yeah, starts Monday. And so you can, I'm going to post the link below here, but you, it's just $30 for the whole week. And every single day I get on, on zoom and I share a little bit about, um, how to do videos, some inspiration. I give you a challenge every single day. The videos don't need to be long, just a couple minutes. It means super short and to the point, just get it done, right? Um, and so we're, there's actually a Facebook group too, so you can share your videos in there. You can do them live in there if you'd like and mm -hmm. um, share them out if you'd like to after that. But it's super fun. It's super inspiring. The ladies are amazing that have done the challenge. And um, yeah, it's going to really support you in getting out there and getting your message across because people want to hear you. They don't care about, you know, if you're perfect or um, any of that, because there is no perfect. So <laughs> let's just there start it. No, I mean, look at this right now. Like I'm in my yoga clothes that I'm going to wear. Yeah. Um, okay. I love it. I'm in, I'm doing it. We talked yesterday and I go, I really, after we talked, I realized I actually really need to make some more videos and it makes me do it when I have you know, five days with some kind of accountability, mm -hmm. kind of accountability. And so I'm in, I paid my money. I hope you saw it went okay. through. I'm all in. Yep. I need to do this for myself, for my business. And I'm looking forward to it. I really hope a lot of other people show up because um, it helps all of us to be in it together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm super excited you're joining this again. It was so fun to have you the first time and, um, yeah. So excited you're joining us again. And then share it with us about your challenge. Do you have more information about that? Yeah, I'll share it. It's um, feedyoursoulunlimited.com backslash. Oh, it's a long URL. I will put it in the, I'll put it okay. in the link. So can I... Okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And that starts the end of the month? It starts actually the October the 24th. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, so we so have a few days week. before Halloween. Get us prepared. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about how to, how to let go of, um, the, the fear of Halloween candy, because mm. it's real. I love mm. that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yay, awesome. Thanks, Yay. Katie. I'll post the link below, and I'll post mine as well in the comments, and I uh, hope to see all of you in the challenge. Me too. I hope to see you guys. Come join me, because it's, it's not a party without you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kim. I really appreciate you getting on with me today. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot, Erin. I'll, I'll see you on Monday. Okay, awesome. Bye. <laughs> Bye.